here at Disneyland to check out their new attraction, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. Are you ready? Let's hit the road. Welcome everyone, another edition of Let's Hit the Road Jack, and we're here at Disneyland to go on the brand new attraction, Star Wars Rise of the Resistance, and uh, you need to get here early because, check this out, all of these people are also here to go on Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. You need to get inside the gates to secure your boarding pass, and uh, everyone has the same idea, boarding passes open up at 9 o'clock right when the park opens so we need to get inside the gates uh, they just open the gates we've got about 45 minutes so the key is to get here early and have your app ready to go because it's exactly 9 o'clock we're all going to be trying to get those boarding passes so let's go on inside and check it out Star Wars Rise of the Resistance fingers crossed that uh, this is going to work out today well, let's see what happens All right, success. We're in the park before the park opening. My ticket is scanned into the app. We're ready to go. I'm going to head back towards the main entrance where my cell phone connection's a little bit better. And uh, maybe that'll help me out getting a boarding pass. But all of these people at 9 a.m. all at the same time are going to be on their phones trying to book a boarding pass. So let's see what happens. Star Wars, Rise of the Resistance. Good morning, and welcome to the Disney to help you make the most of your visit, a virtual queue will be used to the all new Star Wars Rise of the Resistance Cracker. Beginning at 9 o'clock this morning, guests may join the queue through the Disneyland app. Once again, the virtual queue for admission to Star Wars Rise of the Resistance will open at 9 o'clock this morning. Thank you. Success! It's happening! It's happening! Group number 46, we're in. We're going on it today. And uh, fantastic. I'm very happy about that. People cheering all over here. Everyone's getting into their boarding group, so. Awesome. Rise of the resistance. Gonna happen a little bit later today. In the meantime, let's head inside. We're gonna, we're gonna enjoy Star Wars land, grab some breakfast, and uh, look at the crowds, and uh, I'm pumped. Let's do it. I wanted to kind of describe my experience. Wasn't able to kind of record it because I needed my phone. I do all my video on my phone. But I needed my phone, obviously, for the app to book my boarding pass. And uh, pretty neat. Everyone was on their phone. And uh, right at exactly 9 o'clock, you're on their book trying to book your thing. I got group 46. And when everybody got their uh, uh, boarding groups, they kind of a spontaneous applause erupted as people were getting their boarding groups. It was really exciting actually. Uh, sold out really quick and uh, I talked to another cast member. He said it was about two minutes. Uh, they were all booked out for the day. So uh, here's a look at the queue, the entrance line right here. The first boarding groups of the day going in and uh, got a little bit to wait. So we're going to grab, uh, take a look around, of course, Batu, and grab a bite to eat and get ready for our big adventure, Star Wars. Rise of the Resistance. Let's check it out.
decided to stop by uh, Ronto Wraps here. And this is a really neat place. They have these uh, really cool wraps. Uh, I haven't tried one of these yet, but I heard it's the best thing here in Galaxy's Edge. This is the breakfast version. And that's uh, pita bread wrapped with uh, pork sausage, scrambled eggs and cheese, and a peppercorn sauce. And it looks really good. So I'm going to give this a try here. That's good. Oh man. Of course I love sausage, but the sauce is excellent. I really like that. That's very flavorful. And I, I forgot the name of this. This is a like a juice mix. They have several different kinds you can choose from. If I remember, I think it had a pear juice, cranberry, and maybe some lemonade in it. I forgot all the ingredients, but Looks pretty good. Let's try it. Yeah, yeah lemonade for sure. It tastes just a hint of the cranberry and the pear. Very good. Interesting mix. So I love my theme, uh, my theme menus. Star Wars, of course, I'm a big fan. And we're about to go to Rise of the Resistance in just a little bit. Right here, I'm let's hit the road jack. Captain Skogetch, report to East Perimeter. Okay, while we're waiting for a boarding group to be called, I heard that uh, Onaka Transport Solutions might need a little help with the Millennium Falcon. So uh, while we're waiting, let's go see if we can help out. Millennium Falcon right there. Let's take a ride. Intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, 
you clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. And as we always say here at the Nucket Transport Solutions, get out of here and go make Hondo some money. <laughs> Step on eight crew. Pilots to the front, gunners to the front, engineers will be in the back. So any bags at your feet and fasten your, your seatbelt as soon as you see them. seated and supervised. Right on, eight crew. Flight engineer, repair this with your flashing buttons. You'd better be faster when we get into real trouble. Right, pilot? Push the flashing button to take off. Pilot on the left, move your stick to fly right and left. I wasn't just about to say that. Pilot on the right, pull back on the stick to fly out and push forward to fly down. Oh, watch it! Enjoy this fly that is the new video. Hey, weapons are on light. Left pilot, hit the boosters. Let's go get that coaxia. Right pilot, make the jump to flight speed. Damaging the Falcon is... Hey, not bad! R5, damage report! <laughs> Engine failure, alright. Hyperdrive leak, mm, that is not too good. Multiple hull ruptures, well... <laughs> Could be worse. 
Light support man. Okay, that's something. All right, I was happy to help Onaka Transport Solutions fly the Millennium Falcon. I was the pilot, and uh, it was really interesting because you actually move the 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 Falcon back and forth with the controls. Very loosey goosey. It's not very uh, not very uh, accurate on the controls, but uh, pretty interesting. I crashed a lot, didn't do too well. I make a much better real pilot than a Falcon pilot, but uh, a lot of fun anyway. But. Uh, the uh, boarding groups are up to number 43. I'm number 46, so we'll be getting on soon. But I think before we go on, uh, let's grab some lunch first. Uh, when they call my group, I'll have two hours to get over to the ride. So we got plenty of time to eat. So let's go uh, eat some lunch. We're here at Cargo Bay 7. Uh, stop here for lunch. And I elected to get the Endorian, I think it's called the Endorian Tip Yip, which is a fried chicken with a uh, mashed potatoes and gravy, it looks like. And I also got, it's a little bit chilly out today, so I got this hot chocolate, which is actually a new item here in Batu. We just got it in uh, this week. And uh, I heard the whipped cream is amazing. It's a, some sort of flavored whipped cream. I forget exactly what's on it, but um, looks really good. That should go down pretty well. And we also got some good news. It's time. They've called our boarding group. We're up to 46. We're ready to go and rise the resistance. I have two hours to get over to the ride, so we're going to finish our lunch here. And uh, let's give it a try here. The Andorian Chip Yip. Let's check it out. There we go, Andorian Chip Yip. Oh. oh, that gravy is amazing. It's almost like a, a green chili gravy. Very good. Oh my gosh. Very good. Mm. I wasn't expecting a green chili flavor, but it's delicious. It's excellent. Very good. All right, we're going to... Um, actually, before we do that, let's try this hot chocolate. Check this out. It's like a purple whipped cream on there. Tastes pretty chocolatey. The whipped—it's like a chocolate whipped cream almost. Oh, that's excellent. All right, we're gonna finish up lunch, and then uh, on the flip side, we'll be heading over to Rise of the Resistance. I can't wait, man. This is gonna be great. So stay tuned, buckle up, grab your popcorn, and here we go. Star Wars: Rise of the Resistance. Here we go. You and R2. He says, thank you for the support. If you want to deep refill, you got to go check it with everybody else. He's got a mission of his own. He says, thank you. He says, may the force be with you. I'm like, I'm too. All right, this sounds corny, but uh, just before going on Rise of the Resistance and R2-D2 rolling by, a real R2-D2 unit gave me goosebumps and chills and a little teary-eyed. And uh, it's awesome. This is awesome. I'm so excited about this ride. We're heading over right now, Rise of the Resistance. Check it out. And uh, I'll give you my full review. You'll see all the coverage, all the footage right here. And let's hit the road jack. Now's the chance. If you like this content, hit subscribe, leave a comment, hit the thumbs up. So here we go, Rise of the Resistance, right now.
you are. It's like, where'd you go? So, so far the, the queue is pretty cool. It's uh, just got a lot of rock work so far. And even in this semi-outdoor cave area, there's uh, air conditioning in here. This is gonna be a great ride uh, on hot summer days uh, to come through here. And it's a long experience, so get out of the hot sun. This is gonna be a great area. But uh, so far it's beautiful back here. And uh, I'm just excited to see what's in store here on Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. So this is super cool, kind of a battle planning chart here that you see in the movies. And uh, the previous room is really great too. They put a lot of thought into that in putting uh, bench seating and the rock work. Plus the ambiance is super cool and kind of kind of sets the tone. Uh, kind of a dark tone set to it. There's an electrical buzz. You kind of feel like something's about to happen, but you're not sure what. But uh, 
really cool room in there. I love the ambiance in there. And of course, this battle planning room is awesome. But, uh, we're going to keep going through the queue and see what's next. Hear the audio, the, the calm chatter you hear, very ominous. It sounds very ominous. That's the word I was looking for earlier. But uh, this is very interesting. We went through the previous uh, room, which was the armory, the uh, resistance armory, but they didn't just put guns in a cage in a cave. The place has history. If you saw the, the one room, it had it looked like a, a place that had some sort of idols or something, like it's an old temple. There's pottery stuck into the wall on one side. And so this place has history, which is very mysterious history. And uh, also here in these cages, some of the uniforms, pilot uniforms and such. And uh, word has it that a lot, some of these items are screen used from the movie. So that's really neat. And uh, we obviously we're in a hidden rebel resistance base and uh, hidden away in some caves on Batuu. It's really cool. So uh, let's continue on and see what's going to happen. By the way, the queue's moving at a nice pace too. I would say it's on par with Pirates of the Caribbean, which means it probably has a very huge capacity, uh, very large thro throughput for crowds. So another room coming up. Let's check it out. Oh, oh, oh. 
Now bring down your shields and prepare to be boarded. Bill Twinkie out there! They'll want the location of our secret base. Tell them nothing. The future of the Resistance is at stake. I have a bad feeling about this. Stand back from those doors. Oi, oi, oi. Come with me. Two. How many? Line up right here. Line up single file on the line. Stay on the line and not on the line. We provided one for you since we can't even follow instructions. Instructions are difficult. Clearly, there's a gray line on the ground for you to stand on. Line up right here in front of the lieutenant, single file. These two lines will follow me. And both lines move forward to the double line. <coughs> Maintain your single file line. You, sir, 
You say the colors of the 501st. I do. Yes, you are of the one? I am of the one. I thank you for your patronage, sir. Thank you for your service. Thank you. What's, when did you serve? Uh, I still am. Cloud City Garrison. The Cloud City Garrison. Excellent, sir. Excellent. And still alive. That's still always important. I am a clone. Yes, would you like to join us? No. No. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> If you see tomorrow. Yeah. Now, red and blue into the cell, please. Step lively.
truth. Not what you sign on for, but hey, your assistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Line up. Scat for his car, DJ. Lieutenant Beck here. Beck! You're live! I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! Yes, R5, you too. What? What? Wow! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Holy moly! That was so good! Uh, Alright, I'm gonna... I got no words. I'm gonna grab a... Uh, I'm gonna grab a little snack or something and sit down and compose myself. <laughs> that was so great. Oh my goodness. Wow. I, I'm trying to compose myself. I got myself a... Uh, the new flavor of milk. This is a variant of the green milk called the Toydarian Swirl. And if I'm not mistaken, I think the Toydarian is what Watto is. He's a Toydarian. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I could be wrong. But uh, Anakin's Skywalkers when he was a boy. Uh, Anakin's slave owner, Watto. That green or that blue character with the wings that liked to gamble. Uh, so anyway, this is a Toydarian Swirl, and I do believe it's a mango flavor with tahini seasoning. Mm. Really great flavor. The seasoning goes really well with it. I like it. They still have the regular blue and green milk variants, but this is really good. I'll probably switch off between the regular blue milk and this one, my two favorites. So anyway, let's talk about Rise of the Resistance. Uh, I'm trying to not ramble on too long about this, but it was so fantastic. I kind of uh, talked in the queue about how great I thought the queue was, but what was interesting about it was that it's not just a line. They put storytelling and history in that line, and they don't tell you what the history is, but you're in some sort of abandoned temple or some kind of ruins that the resistance has taken over for their base and you go through the armory and, you, and they have their uniforms and there there's a there's a communications room there's a, a medical first aid room with medical supplies and that's before you get into the briefing room and what what's great about it is there's subtle storytelling and they set the tone for what's coming up uh, you, you know there's a little tiny bit of dread like what's what's about to go down you know and they did it it's masterful even in the in the queue it's masterful how they pulled off just uh, a little bit of storytelling in there where it makes you wonder what 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 happened here what was going on what was here before the resistance fascinating really good i want to know the backstory so just the queue alone is amazing when you go into the briefing room and you see bb8 and that was pretty amazing. But then when you see the hologram of Ray, I don't think any video does this justice. It looks like a real hologram. And I don't know how they pull it off. It looks fantastic. You can tell that there's some sort of a projection effect onto a probably a sheet of glass or something, but 
it's it's so uh, fluid and and uh, inconspicuous that that it just it looks like a hologram. It's amazing. And so, uh, but then what really started? It sounds corny, but I, I've been tearing up during and after the ride. And this first happened when, and mind you, I've seen videos of this ride, so this, there is uh, no surprises for me, but when those doors open and there's that full-size transport shuttle you're about to board, and right next to it is Poe Dameron's X-Wing fighter with BB-8 on it, and you realize you're getting on board this, this uh, transport shuttle, it seems so realistic. It, it just blows you away, and and it makes me emotional, and uh, and it's just a fantastic experience. But once you're on board that transport shuttle and you take off, really great effects in there. There's lighting effects. Uh, the, the the inside moves as you're taking off. It moves around. It feels like you're really flying up into space, and uh, it's a really fantastic effect. And uh, it's, Great storytelling in there as well. When you get captured by the First Order, the TIE Fighters come in, you're in the tractor beam, all of a sudden there's a Star Destroyer and you're captured, you're in the tractor beam. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then they say, they're gonna, you're gonna be boarded and then those the doors open and it's the same doors, the same side you came in on the ground from Batu, and they open up and all of a sudden you're in a Star Destroyer hangar. Wow. Fantastic! That was so amazing. I couldn't believe it. Even though I, I've seen videos of it, I just couldn't believe it. Gigantic hangar. Platoon of stormtroopers standing there. And one thing I'll say about all the projections uh, uh, throughout this attraction, somehow I don't know how they do it. There's no 3D glasses or anything, but they are in 3D, these effects. Don't know how they do it. Uh, but it looks like you're standing on a hangar looking out into space with uh, TIE Fighters flying by, there's another Star Destroyer out there in the distance. It is amazing. It is fantastic. And it feels like you flew from Batu up to a Star Destroyer and you're getting off onto a Star Destroyer. It is so realistic. It's incredible. So from there, I wish they allowed us to spend a little more time in there to take photos and stuff, but I know there's a lot of people that are trying to get on the ride, so they kind of rushed us through a little bit. Um, and then you go into kind of a holding area where they line you up like uh, almost like drill sergeants and uh, they line you up into groups and you're going to be putting in, into an interrogation room and that was fantastic these these uh, cast members are fantastic with the with the first order and uh, they're amazing uh, the way they bark orders at you and stuff it, it's a lot of fun it's really great kind of reminded me of my military days a little bit uh, not as intense, obviously, but uh, really, really good stuff. And so you get into the uh, interrogation room, and you look above, and there's uh, another projection effect, and there's stormtroopers there, and then in comes a cargo ship flying past. In comes General Hux and Kylo Ren, and they want you to tell you where the base is, but anyway, they leave because they have to go to the bridge for something. And all of a sudden, the walls... Uh, they cut through the walls and the wall cuts away and there's the resistance there to rescue you and off you go into the uh, vehicles and if this attraction ended right there it would be mind-blowing it would be amazing and um, but this is just where the best part starts and uh, so you get on the vehicles and you're going through and store, you're trapped. You, your exit route is blocked off, and there's stormtroopers, and they start firing at you, which is amazing. So you back up, and you're trying to get out of there. Turn a corner, and all of a sudden, you're in this giant room, full size at at walkers, ATATs, uh, in this room, and there's a there's a firefight going on in there. Stormtroopers blasting. There's uh, there's Finn down there shooting back, and. All of a sudden, you're backing up into an elevator, and you're going up in this elevator, and all of a sudden, you're face to face with one of these walkers, and so you're backing up, trying to get out of there, and all of a sudden, these these uh, laser turrets are coming down to, towards you, and they're about to fire at you, 
and you're trying to get out of there and just as you turn the corner they're shooting lasers at you they're they're blowing the place up <laughs> it was fantastic uh, another great effect is when uh, you go through the, the big turret room and then another exit routes blocked off and all of a sudden behind you there's Kylo Ren and he's pulling you in with the force and all of a sudden from the side a, a TIE fighter gets shot down comes spiraling into the side of the Star Destroyer and blows, hole, blows a hole open in the side of it and Kylo Ren's trying not to get sucked out into space but while that's happening you're getting blasted with wind uh, a great fan effect in there and it's really a realistic effect that you're gonna get sucked out into space but you make it out just in time you finally make it to the uh, escape pod and this was fantastic because the escape pod drops down and it goes right into a motion simulator you crash through another star destroyer and a crash landing back on the Batu, and then you back out and you go through back into the hangar to the exit and absolutely mind-blowing mind-blowing and you walk out of there thinking it, it, you know it's not just the most technological technologically advanced ride in the world it's not just three ride systems in one it's not just a 20 minute experience they nailed Star Wars they nailed the feeling of it they nailed what it's all about the intangible feeling of what made Star Wars so successful in the first place, which I would argue the, the, the last trilogy missed the mark on what made Star Wars so great. But this attraction got it. They got it. Brought tears to my eyes. Brought me back to when I was a kid watching Star Wars for the first time in the movie theater. And uh, unbelievable. And no video will ever do it justice. You have to come and see it. You have to come and see it. It's worth the money. It's worth the trip. If you're a, if you're a Star Wars fan, or even if you're not a Star Wars fan, uh, the, the the attraction is just amazing. It's unbelievable. So big thumbs up. Cheers to uh, all the Imagineers and to Disney. You guys did it. Unbelievable. And uh, that's going to wrap up my review here of uh, Rise of the Resistance. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Lots more content coming your way real soon. i got a bunch of stuff coming up. And uh, thanks for watching. So we're going to wrap up this episode of Let's Hit the Road, Jack. And until next time, we'll see you on the road.